Hey guys, uh, good morning, good Monday morning. Um, I just wanted to get on here really quick and just kind of uh, update you a little bit. So today's Monday, the 16th, and I have an appointment on Friday, this Friday. And I've been looking forward to this appointment for, I think, about a month or two. But anyways... I'm really excited for it because it's a really good doctor and um, the lighting's really bad in my house right now. You guys, it's really overcast outside. Anyways, and I'm really excited for it. My friend, my best friend, who's also TTCing on here, Alicia, um, she's also going to see the same doctor the same day, you guys, and she's going an hour before I am. Um... Yesterday was kind of a rough day, I think, for many of us TTC moms. Well, not moms, I guess, but TTC ladies. Uh, just seeing maybe things on Facebook or just, you know, just the whole thing of Father's Day. That was, you know, I feel you ladies. It, it was a rough day for me also. Um, but I'm excited. I think my doctor's appointment getting so close today kind of just made me feel a little bit better. Because I'm hoping that things will, you know, be good once I go see this doctor. And he can open or shed some light to my problem and hopefully help me fix it. Um, also, oh, I'm having a blank. Um, I, I didn't take a test yesterday because... I just didn't want to. I, I'm i on, I think, 12 or 13 DPO, and I'm supposed to start my menstrual cycle tomorrow. But you guys, I've been feeling so weird, and perhaps it's just me putting symptoms in my head, or perhaps just feeling weird things. I'm not on any kind of um, birth control anymore. I'm not on any Femera. I haven't been for about almost two months, um, I haven't done my progesterone testing or nothing, and I've been having just the worst stomach cramps, I don't have any bleeding or anything, but I've been having a lot of, um, cramping, and it's not like, I don't want to, I don't want to say it's exactly, it's not exactly like period cramps, it's a little bit like period cramps, but it's not, but it's different. I have a lot of sharp pains that shoot up um, my mid half and then on my sides. And last night I was having really bad ones on my left side, just laying down. Um, also, I've been having some spasming on my back left leg, which is weird. I don't, and on my butt cheek, which is weird. I never get that. And then the sharp pains going down my groin and down my hip area. Um, I had a little bit of tenderness in my breast the other day, I mean, they're a little, they're not like super sore, but I don't know, you guys, I just, I guess, our, sometimes our excitement kind of gets the best of us, so I'm hoping that I get my period tomorrow, just in case, you know, I'm not pregnant, I would rather just know now, before I, especially before I go to this doctor, because they are doing an ultrasound, and if I do get my period on Tuesday, I mean, that's going to be kind of stupid because I'm going to go to the doctor and I'm not going to have, I'm going to be on my aunt flow. And I don't know, I think this is just gross. Anyways, so hopefully we can get, my husband's actually going to go with me, so hopefully we can get some answers as to what is wrong with me and why I cannot conceive for the life of me. Uh, like I've mentioned before, my husband already has two children. They're grown. He had them when he was really young. Um, so, you know, obviously, f I wish him happy Father's Day. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to make him suffer because I can't have children. Um, he already has two children. Obviously, he wants more with me. And unfortunately, I can't give him that. But I still, you know, I still acknowledge him on Father's Day because it's important for me um, that he he gets that. 
Um, so, yeah, aside from all those things that have been happening, I'm super excited that both my friend and I get to hopefully get some answers on Friday. And that, you know, she's going with her husband, I'm going with my husband and my mom. And, um... Hopefully he can tell me why I'm having these symptoms. Um, the last time I had these symptoms, I think, um, is when I had, I think I don't, I'm not 100% sure because I didn't call my doctor. My doctor said it was normal, which it's never been normal for me. But when, the last time I had these pains, um, right after I had these pains is when I passed a really huge clot with like a, a weird looking tiny little sack thing and, you know, I freaked out when that happened. I even took a picture of it and sent it to my mom and my friend because I've never had that happen to me. And for the doctor to be like, well, that's normal. It's the femur or whatever. And I was just like, that's not normal for me. It's not. It's, I've never, I think if I've ever had a clot, it's been like the size of an, like the tiny, like the size of an ant. And I felt like with that doctor, I was just dismissed a lot, and my own symptoms, I mean, I think women know, we know our bodies very well, and we're the only ones that can tell when something's wrong, so the last time I had these kinds of, like, symptoms, um, a little thereafter, is when I started getting a lot more cramping, and then I got the clot, so I'm really worried that I might be able to get pregnant, but I might not be able, my body might not be able to keep a pregnancy um, full term, which really bothers me, because if that was the case, I'd be pregnant right now. Um, so hopefully this doctor can shed some light on that and, and explain a little bit more if that is normal that that happened, being that I've never had it before. Um, I'm so very grateful for you guys watching, and I'm grateful for you guys putting videos out there. Um, I've been learning a lot just from watching videos, and um, I don't only get educated, but I feel like I belong somewhere in the world. Um, being um, TTC challenged, I guess, it's hard to be in a world where you can walk around with your husband and you don't have a little one walking around with you just like everybody else. So it can be difficult. So when I watch these videos, I can relate to you guys. And I'm just very grateful that you guys, you know, you put your thoughts and your feelings out there. I think it's important to not mask those and to know that we're not alone. And I just keep encouraging and and know that we are all here for that, to support one another. And I'm just very grateful for that, you guys. And um, I hope that everyone has a great lovely Monday and a great week and I will p keep you guys updated I'll probably either make depending on my nerves make a video on Friday morning and then after the appointment to let you guys know what the new doctor said thank you guys so much for um, watching and don't forget to subscribe have a good day